Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome back to the channel. Now, you've probably used the speed brake levers hundreds of times when flying the Airbus to help you slow down, drop altitude or tidy up your descent, but have you ever really watched what happens when you pull it? Well, the panels on the wings, the spoilers, don't always behave the way you would expect. Sometimes they will move a lot, sometimes they'll move only a little, and sometimes they'll just vanish completely. In this video, we're going to explore exactly what the logic is and what's going on. How much braking power you'll actually get when the system will quietly limit you and why at certain times well the aircraft won't even let you use them at all by the end of the video you'll understand every bit of logic behind these moving spoiler panels from descent management to approach protection and understand exactly when the spoilers will work or when they won't work so first, what are they actually? Well, on every A319, 20 and A321, the speed brake system uses spoilers two, three and four on each wing. They're controlled by that familiar lever down on the pedestal, but you're not moving the panels directly when you move the lever. In fact, you're just sending a request to the Airbus computers. The computers check the aircraft's configuration, the airspeed, the autopilot status and a long list of protections and only afterwards will the aircraft decide whether to let you use them or not and how much of them you're able to use. So let's look at one of the first thing it checked. If you're flying with the autopilot on, the Airbus will quietly limit the authority. You're only ever going to get 25 degrees of deflection on the spoilers 3 and 4 and just 12 and a half degrees on spoiler 2 and that full amount is reached at just the half lever travel, meaning that from half to full forward, absolutely nothing more will happen if the autopilot is on. And that's why it looks like you're only going to get half speed brakes. Well, the Airbus does this deliberately when the autopilot is on to stop the autopilot fighting itself. The airplane manages the pitch and the vertical speed through the autopilot, so the spoilers are limited. Now, even if they do extend, we have the high speed retraction logic. And that is above 350 knots or Mach 0.75, the retraction back to clean is actually slowed right down and it will take about 25 seconds from being out to being fully retracted. And that's another reason it can look sluggish in your simulator, but actually that's what the plane does in real life. So then, what about turning the autopilot off? Well, do that and you'll instantly feel the difference. In manual flight, you get up to 40 degrees of spoilers 3 and 4 and 20 degrees of spoiler 2, which is roughly double the drag. That's why in the real aircraft, during hand-flown level offs or descent adjustments, the response is much more dramatic. Now, sometimes though, when you do pull the speed brake lever, nothing happens and that is because the Airbus has built-in limitations. Speed brakes automatically retract and lock out if any of the following are active. That is the angle of attack protection, alpha floor, thrust levers above maximum continuous thrust, and depending on which aircraft you're in, certain flap configurations. So for the Airbus A319 and Airbus 320, that is full flaps. Your speed brakes will not work with flaps full, and if they were out, they will retract. For the A321 and the Neos, it's slightly more. It's flaps three and flaps full that are the limitations. Once those speed brakes have retracted, they won't move again until the lever is reset and you've waited at least 10 seconds. Now, as if there wasn't already enough to remember with that, there's even more logic going on behind the scenes. So spoilers two, three, and four are also roll spoilers and help control the roll of the aircraft. So if you bank with the speed brakes out, the system will retract the opposite wing spoilers to balance the roll demand. It can look very uneven from an outside point of view, but it's actually completely normal. The ECAM as well helps you keep track. The speed brake memo shows green when they're extended and that will turn amber when the aircraft logic system thinks that they should be retracted. For example, flying along level with the speed brakes out. Now, finally, onto one thing that many new pilots will do, and is it right to do it? And that is using the speed brakes to help capture the glide slope. So, if you are high and are above the glide slope, down the localizer, can you use the speed brakes to help get you down? Well, Airbus says that they can be used up to configuration 2, but it is not recommended. Using speed brakes with flaps extended increases pitch attitude and can also destabilize the flight path. In configuration 3 or 
fall, depending on the aircraft you're flying, they are inhibited anyway. So if you're high, the correct Airbus technique is the glide slope capture from above procedure, and we cover that in a different video here on the channel. And so basically the spoilers are much more useful to you earlier on in the flight to make sure you're at the right profile for that glide slope capture beforehand. And so there you are, hopefully that is everything you really need to know about the logic behind the speed brakes and its use. Hope you found the video useful and if you do have any more questions then ensure you do come back, leave a question and I'll do my best to come back and answer it. If you have enjoyed the video then please don't forget to leave a like and of course if you're new to the channel and like this kind of video then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos and our live streams. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye bye for now.